Hi everyone, it's Maya from Plant with Maya and today uh, my friend Gabrielle is joining me and uh, I want to introduce to you um, Gabrielle. We met through the uh, local local uh, plant uh, group and then we um, connected through there and we actually traded plants and I got a, a pink princess for him and um we tra you, what did Acacia, i try yeah yeah the mac my alocasia uh Album Albo Albo yeah <laughs> variegated alocasia so uh today um we're going to show you um how i do the um plants in leka Gabriel wants to learn how to do it, so uh, we thought, you know, why not film it and show, show and and share it with you as well. So um, we're going to start with um, our leka. So I already washed this, and um, I don't. Some people actually boils their leka, but I don't. I just wash it a couple of times outside i don't don't do it in your sink because it's going to um clog your sink oh my eyes are itching from allergy so i just wash it a couple of times i already wash the ones we're going to use today and um so feel free to use and I have some more over there okay. um so I just fill it up all the way up to the top. So what we're going to do is just fill like one third first. One third kind of like that and put our plant. Oh, excuse me, my eyes are itching. Yeah, it's allergy. Okay, so sorry about that. So what I do is um, just like one, like about one third of the, and then put the plant. Um, are you using that cup for a specific reason or you can, like in my case, can I just put the leka? Yeah, here? you can put the leka in there as well. I find it helpful um, to have something like this. You know, uh, on, on my other plants, I just use the deli um, container. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and then just put holes in there. And then um, with this, and also with the jar, I have some jars too. You can eat, it's easy to see the roots growing and see okay. how they're doing, you know. So you can rinse it faster. You can rinse it okay. faster. So um, that's why I prefer this type. And then I just kind of use uh, another flower pot without holes and then um, kind of put it in there so that it will um, hold the water and then um, you can easily take it out and then rinse it or if you need water you can just easily you know put it in there um, so uh, I have some here you can use yeah and then um, oh, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna start with the fluid that goes. That's beautiful. I know. Oh, half a new leaf coming up. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Finish.
And then um, for the vitamins, <laughs> of course, our plants need to eat as well, right? And because this doesn't get nutrients from the LECA, we have to provide the nutrients. So this is what I use, um, the Flora Micro. Um, and so what I do is I just have a one gallon water here. And um, and then I use one fourth teaspoon, and then mix mix it first. And um, for this three, we put like one fourth teaspoon, but use this one. Uh, put this one first uh, because if you put the this either one of these first doesn't mix well so i always put this one first she will work like a solvent okay. yeah yeah and then mix it and then with these two it doesn't matter which one you put next uh, so. that will be the same amount yeah so also uh, mix it and then just let's see what do you get those for? so I got this from Amazon, Amazon. Okay. yeah all this it's a set I mean you can buy one each each one separately but this came as a set okay you can buy it. yeah yeah so mix it again and then uh, of course pH is very important okay. so there's a kit um, this kit also came with either pH up or pH down and then this is the uh, the test indicator so this came as a set this three and it's this package like this and also got this from amazon okay, so I should go ahead. yeah and so we'll just kind of test the water if it is so it's it's recommended to have between 5.5 to 6.5 for our plants, okay. for our house plant. So I just got a little bit and then uh, we're going to test it. So just kind of three drops. Let's see, one, two, three. Let's mix it. just to make sure our pH level is good. So this is, I think, you can tell, this is about six. Mm, yeah, definitely. Yeah, about six. So I usually try to do between 5.5 5 okay. or six. Uh, a little bit more acid. Yeah, because, um, you know, eventually the water will increase each pH that's right. you know it, um, yeah, that's right. Makes sense. yeah so I usually start lower so if I can do 5.5 .5 or 6 so I think this is 6 so if you want to lower it a little bit uh, so what I'm going to do is use this pH down how much do you use so I just kind of like oh, yeah, start slow, like start a little bit okay. because you don't want to add too much. And then now you have, to, if you have too much, then you have to put pH yeah. up or down. Because like in the lab, we use like the same pipette. So yeah. like even if it's like one liter, we use like one or two drops. Yeah. And then you age and that like helps a lot. So yeah. So I want it to go down a little bit 
So maybe one, two, squeak. So, and then you can always just add more if you need more, but I always just put a little bit and then try. And again, just about three drops. Shake it. And then yeah, now it's more now it's like 5.5 5 between 5.56. Yeah, it's more orange. The orange, yeah, right? So, so I'm good with that. So now that's it. That's all we need. Our pH is down. The right. And then um, for additional plant food I use this one I mean you can always use whatever you have um, but um, this one is what I use um, so again I just use the same amount and this is like fish uh, smell like it's not smell like <laughs> <laughs> <It's really good. laughs> but <laughs> I guess it's good for plants, right? Yeah, I bet I hope. So I just use a little bit to mix it in. And um and that's it. You um just pour it in your about one third again one third of um, one third level of your container like, oh. yeah around there so that's there. a little bit more Right there, I think it's about one. Yeah, I think it's perfect. Yeah, so what I do, so after, so during the week, you just can see if the water's, you know, evaporating or going. Uh, like really low then you can just add water, water. Mm -hmm. and then um, at first uh, I was doing uh, once a week I flush them and what I do is I just put this under the sink and then just kind of rinse, rinse it and um, but eventually after a while once the plants are adjusted i kind of do it like every two weeks or three weeks i kind of flush it uh, but in between i just add water okay. and then um so i do this when i flush it then i make a more, more vitamin more. water <laughs> I, I call it v vitamin, vitamin water, water. Yeah, so in between flashing, you just add water, but um, when I flash, then I add, uh, replace the water that's in there, and then just kind of make a new... A new one every time you like yeah. remove everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so the reason why we flash it is because um, sometimes there's salt built up okay. on the top, so... Um, so it's good to flush it and uh, let it, you know, just rinse in the sink. So basically, that's it. Um, and uh, we can throw it some others if you want. 
Huh? That we can try with some other. Yeah, stuff. then you can try um, your new plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I will do the carrier here. Oh, that's so pretty. What is this one? Mayoi. Mayoi. That's so pretty. This is a variegated ZZ. Yeah. Wow. It doesn't have many roots, but what I did, um, just leave it in water. Mm hmm And I like chop out some leaves so they yeah. can produce some roots. Yeah. Oh, hey, there you go. Thank you. So with this, it's so easy to use this pot. You just you can just put uh, the container a plastic container or uh, something like that with holes okay. or plastic pot with holes and then just uh, set it in there yeah. to hold the water i would prefer to do that especially when it's time to rinse it yeah because i what i'm thinking now i will need to rinse the whole thing and probably harm the yeah plant. yeah what you can do is kind of just tip it over uh to to but it's harder. Yeah, I have one or two in, in the glass container. It's hard. So where do you get that plastic that is inside? So I ordered I ordered um, on Amazon like a 25 pack of the, uh, uh, what's she called this? Uh, deli plastic container food okay. container oh, or okay. or you can order the um, the orchid um, the container orchid yeah okay. so the orchid container actually I just ordered yesterday they already have holes so okay. you don't need it's a little bit pricier if you order the deli container um, but you have to put holes on yourself yeah. by yourself then I yeah prefer the yeah because it's sure because yeah. it's like for fun so i believe they are made for root systems yeah yeah uh -huh. okay i think we finish it here it doesn't matter if the roots are not completely touching the liquor yeah it's okay um because Yeah, you can just put some more. I will definitely will try to change it to the plastic container yeah. eventually. Yeah. Because it will be hard trying to rinse this. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, it's really um, easier as um, you you use this method uh, often. It looks like a lot in the beginning because you have to mix, you know, the food. But once you kind of like get used to it, you really have to do it like two every two or three weeks. Yeah, it's like or it's making fertilizer or something. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. It's just adding food um, so so i hope you learned something yeah, today I, something. I like it i will definitely <laughs> repeat it at home uh well, i guess i will give you guys some updates yeah thank you so much for watching and um we'll see you again uh next time bye